into something very special today. A very special adventure. Do you want to tell them about it, babe? Well, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> just let them find out? Maybe we'll, we'll just let you guys find out. I'll tell you a little bit, though. We had a subscriber reach out and say, hey, if you're in Michigan, let us know and they want to take us out on an adventure today. So you're coming with us and we'll uh, reveal more soon. It was so quiet last night. This is actually inside the Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore. So we needed our pass, our America the Beautiful pass. And we have that hanging. They want it hanging from the mirror. They have amazing showers. So we, we were able to go shower because it is, only electric in the loop that we're in. Mm -hmm. There's no sewer, there's no water, but there is potable water. So we were able to go get some potable water and put it in um, the, the tank yesterday for- Actually, they have potable water at the dump station. But you know how everybody feels. Matter of fact, we're coming to the dump station okay. right now. What is this? A national lakeshore, right? Mm -hmm. It's just like a national park. Yeah. And my gosh, it just does not get any better than this. So there's a trail that's behind our campsite. We'll show you a little bit more. It's kind of crazy because our campsite is closest to the street and then you have the trail and then you have our like picnic area and the campground and it's like the campfire area. So yesterday we left Oak Grove Campground Resort in Holland, Michigan and what a neat neat place we really enjoyed our stay it was over labor day weekend and if we didn't explain uh, we couldn't find a campsite really we were looking at holland state park we were looking at other places kind of wanted to be near the in holland somewhere and then there were a couple sites left yeah you know we could have stayed at the elkhart county fairgrounds you know if we wanted to do that but we decided we wanted to move on and that, that was super important to move on that's right yeah and then you came up with this oak grove resort man and wow that was, a, that was nice it was beautiful we were able to ride our bikes right there there's a trail right outside the campground so we did stay there for three nights and we decided we were just going to get through the labor day weekend that's and it yeah. it was packed oh. so many kids Okay, there's one thing I gotta say. The the, the cars with loud exhaust. Oh, yes. <laughs> that, that, That's our that, only complaint, huh? That was our only complaint because from that to this and hearing absolutely nothing, beautiful skies in the middle of. Oh, I yeah. Slept, I'm so excited because I slept so good. So, this campground cost us, well, three nights was $93 total. So what is that? Just 31 bucks a night. And for the electricity, that is so worth it. Super difficult to find a spot though. I got on the recreation.gov notification uh, for that campground. And I put in my dates and it let me know when something came up and I kept checking. Something would come up and it said maximum trailer length would be like 20 feet. That won't work. The next time, oh, maximum, you know, 20 feet or it was a walk-in site. Finally, there was one site that came up, Loop 3, 315, which is where we're at, and it said max trailer length 30 feet. And we're 25 is the box, and then 2911, I think it is, bumper to hitch. So we took it, we grabbed it up. It was for the three nights that we wanted. And um, it, it's gonna be perfect. We're heading to Traverse City. A little bit of a detour because we had to work around the weather for this event that we're heading it to. It is going to thunderstorm tomorrow. Uh, so it's gonna squash a little bit of our plans, but adapt and overcome, and you gotta go, man, when you gotta go. And our next stop is gonna be Mackinac. Is Ma that our next stop? Yeah, it's gonna be three hours away, I think, unless... Okay. I think that's what's going to be our next stop. It's three hours away, so. I just feel like there's something in between here and there that we wanted to see. Oh, and I, I see. That's what I was telling you, that, that those falls, and I can't remember their name. So I got to do my research. That's why we try to tell you guys, so when you plan your trips, you're not like us, floundering in the 
Well, we're floundering. floundering in the forest. We're floundering because if we want to stay someplace a little bit longer, yeah. then we have the option of doing that. Yeah, and we do like that. Usually we're a little bit more ahead, like at least, you know, we know what the next stop is, but we haven't we haven't figured but out. But I gotta say, folks, Michigan is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's so worth it to come and come see it. Oh I'm well, you know, we've lived in the mountains as we said before, and now we live in the desert. But to see it, it's just all green and it's just before the leaves turn everything is still green so the leaves are not turning yet but the biting flies are still out which was a surprise to us yeah they weren't bothering us but it was funny there were people coming up off the beach yesterday and they're swatting, swatting. And swatting. <laughs> the biting flies and we're like they're supposed to be gone they said nobody told them they're supposed to be gone they're still there so i don't know what you can spray on yourself that keeps them away but i think yeah, there's we gotta didn't be research something. that either if you can put <laughs> put like mosquito spray, spray on or something like that. We didn't research. We uh, haven't researched anything. I know. Well, we're we, flying by the seat of our pants. We're not sitting around being lazy. That's for sure. We're, uh, okay. I, can we tell about what happened yesterday? So while we're packing up yesterday, trying to get out, trying to run to the laundry back and forth and finish all that stuff before we go. Cause they were closed on Sunday. It's a Christian, it's a Christian, uh, owned, campground so they you know close on Sundays just so everybody can be with the family and go to church so this is Monday we're trying to get ready get everything packed up and I am outside then I go inside and there is a waterfall of water coming out of the sink and because we're all tight kind of kind of tight quarters in there I go stand stand the sink the sink is overflowing he hauls buns, rips around to the back of the trailer, and I start throwing towels down. So, you're probably asking now, how does that happen? Well, against all rules, I was flushing my black tank, but mind you, I'm very, very anal about making sure the black tank is flushed completely clean. I was on my last flush and I have a gallon water meter that I attach so I know exactly how much water to put in. And I usually put in about 30 gallons and flush it out. Because the reason why I do that is so I make sure all the toilet paper and everything that's in there that may get stuck on the walls gets totally clean. So it, the, it's already been basically just cleaned out and I was on my last flush just to make sure that it's been cleaned out. Well, guess what? I forgot. So the neat thing, there's a safety feature in a way that it ends up filling up into the other tanks um, in case something like that were to happen so it doesn't come out of the toilet and flood. So anyway, so basically that's what happened. Um, I left it on too long and water filled up through the the sinks and needless to say the entire rig has been flushed completely and we've been able to decontaminate the whole entire rig so there you go in a nutshell don't ever do that uh just because what i do is i i turn on the water and run around and do a couple do other things in saving time so the moral of the story, do one thing at a time, just stand there, do what you need to do, and don't worry about anything else, and don't be in a rush. So there you go. I was worried about water damage, and but we got it all mopped up, and it, it like rolled behind the couch, it was just going into the bathroom, it was, it was just, it was everywhere. So we, we got it cleaned up though. Yeah, just so if you're thinking in your mind, it's not like poop is rolling down the trailer. That's not All right, so none of that happened. It's just water. It was just water. It's just water. On that note, today is a new day. We've got a new adventure. So let's go. It's a good day. Laura's standpoint.
Here's our surprise. I want to introduce you to Captain Lauren Newton. That is correct. Is that correct? Yeah. This man has 40 years of sailing experience. He's been in quite a few races, I hear, right? Yep. Is that true? Storms and all that. And so stuff. here's a surprise. <laughs> we're going sailing with Captain Lauren Newton. On a perfect day. On a perfect day, so mm -hmm. we're excited. Here's the other caveat to this whole thing. He owns a Grand Design Imagine 2500 RL. And he reached out to us because we, he follows us on YouTube. And so he invited us to go sailing. So we're excited. Wanted to have a celebrity on board. Oh, oh no, no. Well, we this man looking. is the celebrity right here. And I think he's a celebrity of all this part around here is what I'm hearing. So he's an excellent sailor. And what's the name, uh, the name of your company? Uh, wind Sailing, but uh, our, our uh, email address or Website is TC Wind Sailing. TC Wind Sailing. So when you're up in this area, which you should be, because this place is beautiful, and we're going to be sailing on Traverse Bay. Did I say that right? The west end, the west arm of Grand Traverse Bay, technically. Grand Traverse Bay. So beautiful there you, water. There you go. Thank Let's you. do this. Come with do us. It. So we're boaters, but you right. know that we have a wake. We have yeah, a wake. I know you have one of those other kind of boats. Board boat. The it's big motor <laughs> and stuff. Yeah. Tipping, but you're not tipping over. Okay, Lauren just <laughs> assured us that we are not going to tip over. We're going to tip. Yeah. Probably oh, won't sink. We, <laughs> we probably won't sink. Well, I hope not. He's been sailing for 40 years, so all right, but no guarantees, right? Is well, no. Right? There's no guarantees in life. No. That's right. that's very true. All right, <laughs> this is gorgeous. Boat. Isn't that fun? It's oh a, my god! You know, boats are a lot of work, but it's, yes. uh, it's a love work of love for me. Yeah. yeah. See, nobody's ever fallen off my boat, so don't fall off my boat. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna keep the streak alive. Yep. All right, babe. Wow. I can't believe you made it. This is your maiden voyage. <laughs> my maiden voyage. About <laughs> time you went sailing. Now. Look at this. Yeah, I'm overdue. Wow, look at this beautiful little cabin down there. So now do you let them know hey, you're taking off on a sailing mission or nothing like that? Or um, No, what um, what people think sometimes is that you, should, you let the Coast Guard or Sheriff know that you're going out, but that's not what you want to do because there's so many people boating and it's right, unnecessary. Right. Gotcha. So usually you tell friends and relatives if you're going long distance. God, you God. Or something like that. So. What's the farthest you have sailed in this, or like many this days boat, or miles? Um, about 36 hours we spent uh, bringing it up from where I bought it from. So it's a wow. long trip. That's but, a... Uh, we, we don't go very far because we have the business and it uh, takes up a lot of our time. Yeah. But it's fun when we get out here though. We'll put us to work if we need to do anything. Okay. You don't untie we'll put all sand the to work. Yes. <laughs> if you don't all tie all the lines, you take the dock with you, right? You have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Sailboat now. Well, the rules, the navigation rules apply now to sailboats instead of a motorboat. When we have the motor on, we're, we have to follow the rules of a motorboat. But, um, you know, as far as who has a right of way, different things like that. Right. The sailboat has the right of way over a powerboat most of the time. There's some exceptions. But. If you turn too far that way, Rhonda, the sails will flap and then you know you've gone too far, so you just go back a little bit. Okay. There. Oh, you're so you can turn a little turn. bit and feel how it doesn't take okay. much wheel of turning. Does to it matter which it? way do you want? Should we turn? No. All right. Which way is the 300 foot hole? <laughs> that way? You actually took, going. took it off auto, auto Yeah. I don't really trust her, don't I? He's literally no. like. Uh, you shouldn't? No, no. <laughs> I only drove the trailer in the truck once. <laughs> well, this way is the 
probably about the it's weighs 16,000 pounds, so wow. turn back up that way. Go that way? Yeah, a little bit too much. Well, I know a little bit. It's crazy, a little bit. It I doesn't take, that, yeah. doesn't take much. And then there's so. a, a delay in how, when it responds, you know. Okay. So, we probably should do this, Dan, I think. Oh probably. my gosh, yeah. where the hat, the where the captain's hat. hat. She's in charge. <laughs> Captain Rhonda, listen up, people. <laughs> Swab the ducks and all that. Feels so authoritative right now. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Lauren said, "Here's the hat. Here's the boat. Here's the steering wheel." So now you're too far to the right. Too far. So now oh, they're flapping. Okay, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. All right. Sails are unhappy. They are not happy. All right. Are we sure we want to do this? I'm pretty sure. Hey, hope she doesn't right. break anything. But the sails might get unhappy, or you, you're pulling. They will get unhappy, yeah. Okay. So Turn just... a little faster than that. Okay. Yep. That's good. So we'll go all the way across. We're tacking. Tacking. We're tacking. Not tacking. Not tacking. Just tacking. Well, that was a nice little turn. Oh yeah, she did that well, didn't she? We gotta straighten it back out. Just yep. edge out. Kind of right up. Right about there. Let's see. Yeah. Right about there where you are is good. So the sails to that side now. Okay. Because we, we've been on the other side of the wind, so now the wind's on the, the left side of the boat. I'm just nervous about you driving the boat. That's all. I'm nervous probably about. should be. She's never done it before. <laughs> at least she's we're a... crawling. We're at a crawl right now, so we're good. <laughs> For 30 years, she's been driving our boat. Honey, there's a boat coming, and thing is like mile yeah. away. <laughs> oh, well, that takes a while to get used to. The convergence and all that. Right? Yeah. Lawrence getting ready to tip us. Oh. Oh. We won't tip over. So I'm speaking his language. As soon as I said it, you should have seen how fast this guy moved. Boom, tipping? Okay, you're speaking my language. <laughs> Let her rip. Let's go. Farm was owned by the same family over 100 years. Michigan Historical Commission. Wow. Isn't that Look awesome? This. this is awesome. Beautiful. I Look can do this. Look at the size of those cantaloupes. That's a big cantaloupe, boy. Ooh, they got corn. What are these? Those green uh, tomatoes? Are they considered tomatillos? Look at I don't the size know. of those baked potatoes. I think we need baked potatoes. Do we need baked potatoes? We need baked potatoes. Oh, cool. Big oh apples, baby. Oh, they're honey crisp. Honor style. Look at that. Hey here, honor or Venmo. Wow, I love it. You need something where we are not around. Oh, and if we're not around. This is so cool. What? Oh my gosh. Pepperoni chunks and mozzarella. Isn't this the cutest thing to buy milk? You can buy milk? This is amazing. Wow. And you can buy beef. Honey, there's chicken and beef in there. Oh my gosh. Pork sausages. Strawberry freezer jam. 
Oh my gosh. Fruit bars. Whoa. How cool. What are we gonna buy? We got a fifth wheel for sale. Do you wanna buy a fifth wheel? 111,000 for a 2021 luxury suites. 40, that's huge. <laughs> Can we Venmo that to them? <laughs> Anything else? No. We kind of like that. No. We're, we don't need that. Yay. For a private campfire tonight. Michigan. 